And I'm just doing me and in today's video we are going to deep condition my hair now I'm be 100 with y'all I have not deep conditioned my hair in some months and I know that's the no-no in the natural hair community so I'm trying to get myself together okay you know I washed and I regular condition but as far as deep conditioning I just talk myself out of it every time so today we're gonna get it done okay we're gonna deep condition and um, I bought a nice little uh, hooded dryer attachment that I've never used before and so this should be fun. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Hang on, let me grab it. Okay, so this <laughs> dryer attachment should help me with my deep conditioning process today. I got it on uh, Amazon and it's by what, Me Fine? Me Fine. So uh, we're going to see how this goes. I don't know. It looked pretty interesting. I like the color purple, so we're going to work it out. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So stay tuned and we'll jump right into it. All right. So that's what I got up for this video today. Um, my hair has just kind of been in this just kind of blown out state for just a couple of days since I rocked my afro. Check out that video if you haven't already. And um, so I'm just going to release it. All I had was a very loose band on it. So I'll release it and go ahead and give it some TLC. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm back. So before you deep condition your hair, you always want to shampoo it so that you're deep conditioning clean hair, okay? And in today's video, we're going to be shampooing with this Ozzy, um, this Ozzy Miracle Moist Shampoo. It's actually almost gone because it's some good stuff, okay? So I love the Aussie products. So it doesn't take much of this. All I did was wet my hair. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the shampoo. This may get a little messy since I'm doing it on camera. So I grabbed my favorite towel. So I basically just put shampoo all around the perimeter of my hair. And then begin to work it down the rest of my hair. Okay. Told y'all that's about gone. It's about to be a wrap. Gotta buy some more. And then you wanna get in the middle, add shampoo inside. The whole time you wanna just be kind of pulling a little bit at your hair as well to uh, make sure that you're pulling any shed hair that's ready to go ahead and come out. And then you wanna begin to massage your hair to get it cleansed with the shampoo. Again, trying not to bunch the hair up too much, just kinda of getting in there and pulling out, getting in there and pull it out. I also purchased um, a while back, I'm not exactly sure where um, I got it from. If I had to guess, I'd say Amazon. I buy a lot of stuff off Amazon.com, but it's basically like a little shower. I wouldn't even call it a brush, but like a shower brush. And I take it and to really cleanse my scalp, just go in circular motion. And really get in there and the bristles are really really soft so you can really get in there and it may seem like I'm being rough but because the bristles are so soft it actually makes for a great like scalp massage so you can kind of press in a little bit and um, go ahead and stimulate your scalp which promotes hair growth Now my hair really is not too dirty, I don't believe. I washed it 
I probably washed it within the last week <laughs> putting up these videos. I'll be washing my hair quite a bit now, but that's all good. Um, so it shouldn't be too much product in here, but for the sake of a good deep condition, we'll want to get it as clean as we can right now. I mean, this little hair right here, I don't know if it's... Anyway, <laughs> it's kind of wanting to do its own thing, but... Okay, so that's pretty much it for applying the shampoo. And I'll be right back so we can do a regular condition. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm back. Okay, so I just rinsed out the shampoo. Now this is just my hair with no product on it right now after the shampoo. And I must say, it really does not feel dried out or anything. Um, Aussie shampoo really lives up to what they say when it comes to moisture. Um, as you can see, it's still got curls and everything. And that's just shamp after the shampoo process. We haven't even touched the deep conditioning or anything like that. So that's pretty good. So now... Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the um, three-minute miracle uh three minute miracle moist um aussie treatment and this is just three minutes it has uh, avocado and um australian jojoba oil and it's supposed to be paraben free um so i really could probably just stop here once i apply this and keep it on for three minutes but considering i haven't like deep conditioned my hair and you know added heat i'm gonna go ahead and use this as just a regular conditioner so I'll just apply this to my ends first because that is the oldest part of my hair. So I'm going to make sure I give my ends extra attention by carefully just applying the product onto it. I'm usually pretty heavy with conditioner because for some reason our curls love conditioner. I also use the praying hands method to make sure that the product um, is thoroughly distributed through all of my strands as best I can. Um, this product feels so nice on my hair. And as you can see, the curls are snapping back really nicely. And it hasn't been three minutes yet. <laughs> So since the top of my hair is a little more coarse, I like to give it a little bit of extra TLC. And again, we can go in with the shower brush and make sure that the scalp gets conditioned as well. And here you'll notice that even though I put conditioner on my hair, uh, my hair doesn't look super white, which means that the product is absorbing into my hair really well. So I don't know if it looks white on camera or not, but to me it doesn't look like a bunch of product is just sitting on my hair. It seems like my hair is really taking, taking good to the product. So that's awesome. Alright guys, so this is something I'm supposed to leave in for three minutes, so I'm going to leave it in for three minutes. I'll be back. Alright you guys, I'm back. So, while I was waiting my three minutes, I decided to go ahead and do a light detangle because this Aussie three minute miracle was giving me so much slip that I said, let me see if I can detangle real quick while I'm waiting. And sure enough... I ain't gonna say I detangled all this in three minutes, but it couldn't have been no more than about maybe seven minutes, five to seven minutes. So I figured let me just jump back on and finish this last section before we go into deep conditioning. I'll probably have to uh, detangle again while I'm deep conditioning, which is fine, but um, I hadn't detangled it at all today. So at least I'll get any of the shed hairs that 
we're gonna come out. At least that'll be a little bit smoother to to a uh, deep condition, hopefully. But yeah, so that's it. And if you don't already know, this is a Felicia Leatherwood brush that I got from um, her website. I forget the website, but you could probably do a quick Google search if you want to get this brush. It's got the little separators. So, I love that brush. So anyway, now that I have it um, pretty much detangled, uh, what I'm going to do is rinse it out. And then I'll come back so that we can deep condition. All right, guys, I'm back. So I don't know if you've ever tried to wash your hair outside of the shower for the sake of a video, but um, it's getting pretty uh, wet on this floor. So I'm definitely going to be mopping tonight, but it's okay. You know, I do it for y'all because I love y'all and I appreciate y'all support. So, you know, we're going to do something. We're going to do it all the way, right? All right. So I got my towel. That's almost soaked at this point. But... It's deep condition time. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try out a couple of products. I got the little sampler packs. The first one is the Silk Essentials, or excuse me, Silk Element Luxury Moisturizing Treatment with Shea Honey and Silk. So this is supposed to be a hydration treatment. So I'm gonna put this on the right side. And I'm gonna do the Can2 Shea Butter for Natural Hair Intense Repair. Um, deep treatment mask and I'm going to do that one on the left side as you can see this came from Family Dollar this is not sponsored all right so this is what we're going to do and I'm going to just see which one works better see my shears these are shears this is what you're supposed to use when you clip your ends not regular scissors okay yeah so I'm gonna put the Cantu on the left side and the uh, silk element on the right side and just see which one works better for my hair. So I'm going to see if I got all the 3 Minute Miracle out. Actually, uh, did pretty good considering I didn't take them out of the twist. So that might be a note to myself for my um, future wash day routines is that I can uh, rinse my hair. At least my conditioner. I probably wouldn't do my shampoo like that. But at least my conditioner I can detangle with my conditioner and then rinse it inside the twist may make my job a little bit easier because detangling was really easy with that uh, three minute miracle okay so I'm gonna just free all of my hair again right now it does feel soft and moisturized so the key here is just to keep that moisture in my hair because a lot of times I'll, I'll moisturize my hair and then like the next day or two it feels really dry. And so, um, just from my research, the reason for that is because I'm not deep conditioning enough. And so, I'm going to go ahead and lead by example. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to deep condition like a good natural, okay? That's what we're supposed to do. Let's get this thing started. So, I'm just going to take a comb. Go somewhat down the middle and see which product my hair likes the best so that I can purchase a big size of it and begin to start deep condition. I think I'm going to try and do it like at least once a week unless I have a protective style that's different depending on what it is I might deep condition with that too <laughs> so my hair is pretty detangled it's pretty bouncy you know it's funny I have never did a successful wash and go before but these curls are looking uh, wash and go worthy okay so I may have to try it for y'all and see if I can pull it off I think I just never really let it get to a point of drying like I'll see how it look in its initial state and I'm like yep yeah, no this is not gonna work and then I'll rinse all of the stuff out so I've only tried it really for like once or twice but I don't know I may I may give it a whirl in 2020 who knows 
All right, so time to apply the product. So we'll start with this silk element. Let's see what the texture is like. Okay, thick and creamy, just like we like, right? Let's smell it. Mm. It doesn't have a, a major smell to it, which, um, I mean, it smells like something. I just can't, can't really put a finger to it, but it's nice and, and thick. Um, it's like the consistency of like, like America Whip, <laughs> but even a little, just a little bit less thick, but I'm just gonna lather it on. Ooh, I like that. Okay, silk uh, element. We might have something here. When I was trying to find a review on it, it seemed like um, it's been a really long time since somebody that I could find um, did a review on it. So I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to just figure it out for myself and uh, review it for y'all. So... I know a lot of people when they deep condition they probably go into smaller sections but I told y'all I don't deep condition much so I'm just kind of winging it here There's a lot of slip to this product, which is great. Yeah, I'm definitely loving this. I don't know where I've been all these years, but yeah, that's that's something I could definitely see myself purchasing a big bottle of. And that's without even seeing how my hair is going to feel afterwards. So, but I definitely have some high hopes. So I'm just going to twist yeah so I definitely use enough product as you can see I have white stuff <laughs> on top of it I'm just gonna go down and add twist so that I can um, put my bag on it and get under my fun new dryer I hope I don't look too silly when I put that dryer on yeah don't be laughing at me okay don't laugh at me y'all okay. all right make sure them ends are coated and twist away. Twist, 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 twist. Okay, so I'm just going to put the back all together because I really didn't expect for this video to be that long, but hey on a whole wash day routine okay so y'all bear with me okay watch to the end come on detangle with me y'all get your hair products out shoot you know you need a deep condition sis when the last time you deep condition tell me in the comments keep it funky tell me the truth i won't judge you this is a no judgment zone okay just go ahead and get your products you know prop me up somewhere in the bathroom so we can work together and get it done all right that's one side okay so that was pretty good i don't know if can two is gonna stand up to that i'm gonna wash my hands for the sake of getting an honest review on the can two so give me just a second i'll be right back all right i'm back clean hands all right so this one we're gonna put on the left side let's see how this one looks Ooh. So the other one was kind of a yellow color and this one is more, I don't know if you can see, but it's more of a white color and let's smell it. This one smells kind of fruity. So I like the smell of this better than the silk element. So, but let's see how my hair feels because that's really what matters. My hair is going to be the judge of this, really not me. This is giving me like, this feels like a perm, like a relaxer. I don't know. It's like not too thick, but it's also um, 
It's also got a nice consistency. So let's see. And I'm probably using way too much. <laughs> but it's all good. I know that the right side over here feels softer than what I'm feeling right now over here. So I'm not sure what that's about. You would think that it would be at least the same to the touch, but I mean it's soft over here, don't get me wrong, but it's still I still feel some some uh, pieces that feel kind of dry. So I'll add a little more of this. Like back here. But yeah, just off fill along, this side feels better right now. So I'm going to proceed to section this off. I'm going to go ahead and use the wide tooth comb, get the Felicia Leather Wear Brush a break for a sec. So as far as like slip, um, it's there. It's definitely slipped there. In fact, I'm going to go back to this brush since I used it on the other side to see. No. I don't know. It doesn't make much of a difference. It's, it's a different, um, it's a different consistency. And so it's, it's acting a little different. Not horrible. It's just that, um, it's not giving my hair. Um, as much flexibility, I think it's just kind of stiffening it up a little bit, it seemed like. You know, I detangled beforehand, so. See how my hand is kind of getting stuck? I really didn't have that problem on the other side, but we shall continue. I'm going to use this comb since it didn't have the other product on it. So I'm not going to use the Felicia Leather Wood Brush over here anymore since I didn't uh, rinse the other product off of it. So, just to keep the review as honest as I can get it. Again, neither of these products are sponsored, so what you're seeing right now is real. Even if it was sponsored, you're going to get the real anyway because I'm not about that lying life, you know. I got somebody to look up to and hold me accountable, so no review or... Sponsor is worth me getting on here lying about nothing. Okay, here we go. Last section. Again, I'm not hating it, but I'm not in awe of it either. And can too. Got some really nice products, so I don't know. We'll really be able to tell once I rewash it. You know, once I do the finish the whole deep conditioning, but. It's just like my hair is already thick, so it seemed like the product like just made it that much harder to, to comb through or something. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. But the curls are popping though. Let me let me figure out how to do a wash and go. Okay, let me get it right. Let me let me master a wash and go. I'm gonna be out here doing wash and goes too. Although it's not exactly a wash and go, I think you gotta like wash and like diffuse and blow dry. <laughs> you can't just wash it and go. It's like a two day thing, like a two day pro process. Wrapped up in a few moments of a video. So I'm put the access, oops, well, whatever. I'll put the access on this side. I had already put a little bit on the top, so. But that's good. So just at glance on both sides, uh, my hair seems to be I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on with these two products because it's not really um, absorbing all the way into my hair. I think I have low porosity hair too, so that's when it's hard for products to really get penetrate inside the hair but okay so i'm gonna go ahead and up uh, rinse my hands real quick hang on be right back all right guys i'm back i got my hands washed and for the deep conditioning process i went ahead and 
brought back some old school jerry curl bags you know i had put that on my jerry curl bag right there oh yeah that's what i'm talking about mm -hmm. then got this here it's like a shower cap just to kind of hold in the heat all right it's layer number two and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the blow dryer with the attachment all right guys here it is so I think you just I think you just kind of put it on. It's got like holes in it. I don't know if you can see inside, but it's got like some holes, I guess, so that the heat can come through. So this should be fun, right? All right, I'm in here, y'all. You see me? You see me? <laughs> All right, it's got some snaps. I guess you're supposed to snap these under your chin. I never used this before. Uh, it came in the mail like a couple weeks ago, I think. And I saved it to uh, try it with you. All right. I think that's how it go. Y'all tell me if I got this wrong. Don't be laughing at me, y'all. I told y'all. No judgment zone, okay? All right. I'm going to turn this on. <laughs> it works okay guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh let this be on my head for like 10 minutes so i'm gonna sit down for a minute and then i'll come back and we'll um see how this worked out all right stay tuned bye thank you lord for blessing me over and over again, yeah, yeah, yes. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Are we live? <laughs> nah, I just play, y'all. I just play. What else was I supposed to do in 10 minutes, right? So that's what happened when you make it this far in the video. Get a special treat, okay? Your girl can sing. I'm a little hoarse right now, but I can still sing for the Lord now. That was a little song I'm working on myself. Yeah, I wrote them lyrics, okay? So ain't gonna be no copyright problem because I wrote that. Okay. Alright, back to our regular scheduled program. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on up under here. Okay. Ooh, it's warm. All right, let's see which side feels better. I already think I know which one it's going to be. But let's see. Ooh, that feels really nice. Let's try this side. Oh, wait a minute. That feels nice too. Ooh, that heat did it some good. Yeah, I definitely have to do this more often. Like, this is really nice. Like, look at that. If I can get close enough so you can see the definition. And the bounce back. Yeah, my curls look really, really healthy. So I definitely like the silk element. I already knew that I was going to like that just from how it went on. But my hands are gliding through. Okay. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. See, my hair still feels kind of stiff with this product. Um, so I'm not saying that it's, it's not a go. It's just it's just different. I mean, there's still a lot of definition and curls and everything. So my hair still looks healthy. Over here, too. It's just the, the way it feels. It's different. So. All right. So before I unravel these all the way, I'm going to rinse this out and come back with my final thoughts. 
be back. All right, guys, I'm back. So final, final thoughts on both these products. So let's see how my hair feels. This is just my hair. No more product. My hair alone. Now, it definitely feels different than it did when I first started this. I mean, my hair felt really dry. And now it feels extremely moisturized. It's super soft and fluffy. Really on both sides. I mean, it's just... I could probably shake it and it actually move a little bit. Yeah, so um, it feels really moisturized. So I think that um, I would definitely buy the Silk Element again. Maybe even the big container. The can too, I would probably, if I do try it again, it would probably be just the, maybe a sample again. But I just, I don't think I would buy the bigger uh, container of it. But all in all, my hair is super moisturized and that's pretty much what the purpose of deep conditioning is. So thank you guys for joining me on this deep condition um, evening. Um, again, I'll try to do this more often because my hair needs it. Um, type 4 hair just get dry so fast. And so... In order to help combat the dryness, we just we got to do you know, some things extra, a little bit extra. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I did not intend for it to be this long. Um, I will probably um, lightly detangle my hair again and um, seal in the moisture with some oil. And then maybe do um, a quick style with it on my next video. So, hey! Thank you for joining me, and uh, as always, much love. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Welcome, y'all. We on the road to 1K, so share this video, like it, comment. Please comment. That helps YouTube to get the video out to other people. Um, I'm still a very small YouTuber, and I'm celebrating one month being on YouTube today. Yay! Um, I was definitely a spectator for years, but um, it's definitely uh, one month since I posted my first video, and I already have um, a little over 300 and 30 i think 336 subscribers last i checked so thank you guys uh, much love god bless see you in the next one bye